All right, so here's the second example. This is example number two. Now you'll notice this one's a little bit different from the first example that I did, but we're gonna talk about the properties again. So let's start with domain. So we'll write down domain D equals. Now the idea, domain, those are your X values from the left to the right. So imagine, now going to the left here, you'll notice that the green part of the function, and we'll call this f of x, again, we'll name the function f of x. You'll notice again, uh, sorry, that what happens, notice we have an arrow. So what that means is we are going to continue to go. As you move left, your function is going to keep going like this, and it's never gonna stop. So how far left do we actually go? Well, we don't stop. We never stop moving to the left. Even right here, if I went up enough, far enough, I would get onto that line. I would be on that line somewhere up here. So for the domain, we go all the way to the left. So we say that's from negative infinity. And then to the right, how far are we gonna go? Well, we hit all these points here, negative four has a point, negative two has a point, zero has a point, four has a point, six has a point, uh, nine has a point. But then this arrow going down and to the right, it's gonna keep going to the right to positive infinity. So the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. So those are X values. So let's talk about the range. The range is going to be Y values. Now that's lowest to highest. The temptation is to say negative six is the lowest point, but when you come over here, you see what's happening where it keeps going down? That's never gonna stop going down. So the lowest value we're gonna say is negative infinity. And then how high are we gonna get? The temptation would be to say positive four. That's for this section. The problem is, is that to the left here, notice that we have an arrow, so it's gonna keep going up. Well, how high is it gonna go up? It's gonna go up to positive infinity. So the range is negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, uh, let's not worry so much about, if you want the intercepts, okay, we can do that. X intercepts, where do you cross the X axis? One, two, three places. Okay, so X intercepts, would be negative seven comma zero, negative three comma zero, and seven comma zero. Those are your x-intercepts. The y-intercepts, where we cross the y-axis, is here at zero comma three. Zero comma three, okay? So those are your intercepts. All right, now, Let's talk increasing, decreasing, constant. Increasing, I'll just say INC. And decreasing, DEC, constant, C-O-N-S. These always refer to the X values where you're increasing, decreasing, or constant. So these are all going to be intervals for the X axis. It's like the domain. It's going to be on the X's. All right, now I'm gonna do this the same way that I did it in the first example, where I'm gonna, I'm gonna box each section. Now it looks like here we have a couple things going on. The first section, now remember you're starting on the left. So even though this arrow is going up, we're starting up here. So we're gonna be coming down. So this first section is going to be decreasing. Now we'll stop decreasing when we get to this point here. Now the other thing you may notice, well, technically there's no end on the left. There's not gonna be any end to that. So all of this is decreasing. Now where do we look for this though? When we write the answer, we are looking at the X values. Okay, so the box goes off to the left. Now, where is it going to stop at? Well, it's going to stop at negative infinity. So it's going to be from negative infinity all the way to, this is negative 4. So the interval, this is decreasing, decreasing, is negative infinity 
to negative 4. It's not negative 6. I know that negative 6 is the y value for that interval, or for that section, but when you do increasing, decreasing, it is the x values where this occurs, okay? So negative infinity to negative 4. So we come down, we're decreasing, decreasing, we hit this point, now we turn and we start to rise. So we're increasing. And it looks like we stop rising here. That's the place where we turn. So again, I'm going to box. Let's see. So here's the box. Okay. It's my section. Now this is increasing. Okay. And I can write this down on the graph. So this one was decreasing. This one was increasing. But again, it's the x values. So where are the x values? Look at the x axis. Where is this happening? From negative 4 to positive, that's 3. Negative 4 to 3. So increasing goes from negative 4 to 3. You can use colored pencils. It doesn't need to be a highlighter. Uh, so negative 4 to positive 3. Now we have one more section. I'm going to go back to the yellow for highlighting. Now notice that this is also decreasing. We're going down again. So we're going to have two sections where we're decreasing. And as we go to the right, we do have this arrow, which means we're going to continue to the right. So there's really no stopping point for my box on the right. So look at the x values. Look at the x values. From 3 all the way to the right, which is going to be positive infinity, our graph is going to be going down. So for decreasing, we're also going to put from 3 to positive infinity. Two sections. We have two sections on that. 3 to positive infinity. Okay? So we're decreasing, we increase, and we're decreasing. Okay, one more thing that we're going to talk about, and it's the end behavior. Okay, the end behavior. Um, and for constant, we would say there's none. And no point is our curve, is our graph just horizontal. So the constant is none. Last thing is end behavior. And this looks weird just because of the, the symbols. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches something. As x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches something. This is called end behavior. This is how we finished the notes the other day. So end behavior. Now end behavior, you're talking about the function values f of x. That's the same as the y's. So what we're going to be talking about, what's happening with the y values? As x approaches negative infinity means as you move left, where's the function going? Is it going up or down? So as we move to the left, look at where the arrow's pointing. The arrow is pointing this way, and it's going to keep going up. As we move left towards negative infinity, the y values are getting higher and higher and higher. So where are they approaching? If they keep getting higher and higher, they're approaching positive infinity. So as x approaches negative infinity, as we move left, the function is approaching positive infinity. It's going up. That's what it means. Where were we finishing? At the ends, we're finishing up. So as you go left, as you go left, you finish up. As x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches blank. So this is to the right. As x moves right, where does the function go? Look at the arrow. Look at what's happening. As we move to the right, the function values, the y values, are going down. And they're going to keep going down. So how do we say that they're going to keep going down? We're going to say that the function approaches negative infinity. So the end behavior is talking about your y values, up or down. Okay, y values up and down. How far up do they go? Well, in this case, to the left, we're going up to positive infinity. And as we go to the right, towards when x is positive infinity, this is going down to negative infinity, and that is the end of our notes.